Hey guys, so good morning. morning. Buenos dias. So we woke up early-ish to come back to Isaac's eye doctor because he has another appointment. And if you guys remember, we talked about how Isaac has these CRT lenses that are kind of like retainers for your eyeballs so he doesn't have to wear any sort of like eye correctiveness throughout the day, so no contacts, no glasses. And a lot of you guys were actually curious and wanted to learn more about what CRT lenses are because like, like me in the past, you guys have never heard about these lenses. So we're actually gonna be talking to Isaac's eye doctor about them and learning more about what CRT lenses are all about. And also hear from Isaac and see what his experience with them have been. He's still waking up, so excuse Isaac for a little bit. You still have your bed head going on. Yeah. Hi, doctor. Hello, how are you? You're ready to get those lenses checked? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is Dr. Eric Toe here at Lumen Optometric, and he's going to be talking to us about this boy's lenses right here. Did you bring them? Yep. Nice. All right, so we got the lenses and we're gonna get educated. So this is optically how uh, corneal reshaping or ortho K lenses work compared to standard lenses, okay? So mm -hmm. when we focus here, when I draw this shape, this mm -hmm. is, think of this as the cornea. This is the clear window of your eye mm -hmm. looking straight up towards the ceiling here, okay? And so when you wear, let's say normal contacts, right? Normal contacts just drape over the eye. Yeah. They're soft and um, there's really no, no, um, they just conform to the eye essentially. Now, when it's corneal reshaping or uh, ortho K lenses, the lenses have a more unique shape. And so I call it a volcanic shape here, okay? And so you'll see these two humps in this, this specific area. And so when you sleep in this lens, what happens is, is that there's, there's a force, there's a negative pressure force. So it's actually a pull force, okay? So it pulls in this direction and it pulls in this direction here. There's no pushing. Um, when you have a lens that pushes, it's unhealthy and some patients do have issues, which we'll talk about later. But when you have a properly designed lens, it's always negative pressure. There's never any push, okay? And so what happens, what's, what's unique about how this works is that in terms of the cornea, the cells will actually migrate to the area of pull. And they'll migrate to this area and they'll migrate to this region as well. And then what happens is, is that there's a resultant change in the shape of the cornea. So the cornea actually takes, takes on this, this slightly volcanic shape as well. So it's a little bit thicker in this region and it's a little bit thicker in this region. And for all of our patients, like for Isaac too, Isaac was myopic, otherwise known as nearsighted. And when you, when, when, if any of you um, folks watching the video are myopic or nearsighted, if you touch your lenses, your glasses lenses, you'll notice it's thicker at the edges compared to the center. Mm. And so the way we always designate lenses for patients who are myopic is, it looks like this. It's sort of like a sideways hourglass. But you can tell it's thicker on the edge here and thicker here. And optically, that's how it cancels out the prescription. So essentially what we're doing is we're building that correction into the eye. That's what allows Isaac to see clear uh, every morning once he takes the lenses out and he, see, he sees clear for the rest of the day. Yeah, so I actually had a DM from one of you guys asking me whether or not Dr. Toe has discussed with us the negative side effects that could potentially happen because there was someone in my DMs who told me about her experience, how she had CRT lenses growing up during throughout her childhood, but then when she entered her adulthood, she was notified that those lenses ended up like eating down her cornea. So she ended up having a negative experience with CRT lenses. So what are some thoughts that you might have as to why that might have happened to her? And is this an actual effect that can happen to, to anyone? Like to Isaac, for example, like will we find out later when he's an adult that his cornea is depleted? Uh, when it comes to this question, it goes back to how, this, how, the, how you design the software, how you design the lenses with the software, and also how you monitor your patients as well. So if we go back to uh, a really quick whiteboard, when you consider how the lenses are shaped again, right? So really exaggerated here. Again, you're, you're creating negative pressure here and negative pressure here, and the cornea pretty much sits right underneath it. The thing is, is that these lenses, there's always a cushion of tears, okay? Mm -hmm. There's never a point where the lens, or there's never a point where the lens is supposed to actually 
touch the eye. Mm. Because if, if the if the back surface of that lens touches the front surface of your cornea, you'll definitely have an abrasion. Oh. Right? And so most likely that's probably what happened. For some of our patients, we always, or for all of our patients, we always monitor how their eyes are doing by looking in. And I have I have eyes that come back quarterly to make sure everything's healthy. I, I think even for, for Tiffany, she she didn't she wasn't aware of um, ortho K C R T until somebody else had, had told her about yeah. it. Yeah. And so a lot of patients aren't aware of it, and there's a lot of potential for keeping eyes healthy with it. I mean, this isn't the only way to keep eyes healthy. Yeah. You know, whenever we have a patient, we always fight to make sure that they're they're healthy and that they love the experience because mm -hmm. most parents don't know. And so when when somebody performs ortho K improperly then then that type of news spreads and it does it does kids kids like Isaac a disservice it does future kids whose parents who who find that one I mean for every thousand kids who are happy there might be one child who saw a provider that wasn't taking very good care and 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 the news of that one tends to spread like wildfire That's true yeah and so um i always fight to make sure our kids are, are and, and take them have their eyes well taken care of so that, that their, their eyes are healthy and that future kids don't don't find this, this this news and their parents don't tend to ruminate on it yeah that's true because we actually heard from isaac's dentist about his daughter doing crt lenses and we were like what is this because isaac had already been tired of using contact or no not contacts he had been tired of using glasses. He was interested in getting contacts, but then once his dentist brought this up, we were like, oh, that sounds way better. You have to wear contacts throughout the days, so only at night. We started treatment back in April, so it's already been more than a whole year that you've been doing this. Honestly, it feels nice. I remember when I was little and I had clear vision. Mm -hmm. but I remember one day I looked into the projector at school and that's when it started getting blurry. It's pretty nice to have that same experience, but older and getting to see the road name from mm. far away without wearing anything on my face. Yeah, back like when you were really little and you had clear vision, huh? Yeah, so it's really nice. The lenses I have now is very comfortable. That you have now, the lenses that you have now are very comfortable? Mm hmm because I can't really feel them sometimes. Mm hmm So, yeah, it's like, my regular eye. Because I know in the beginning when we first started this treatment, you were having some issues with the comfortableness, comfortability yeah. of your lenses. Yeah, comfort. Yeah. Yeah, I think for Isaac, I mean, you were seeing clear even though it was a little uncomfortable in the beginning though, yeah. from what I recall. And so optically he was he was well protected. But some of our patients, their eyes are a little more sensitive. So I just have to alter the fit. I mean, when, when, you're, when you're taking a custom scan, you're taking a custom scan of essentially it's a soft, soft tissue. Yeah. And so there's assumptions that are made there. And for some patients, the assumptions are really spot on. Sometimes they're a little bit more, off, they're a little off. And so we just have to accommodate for it. And so. Once, once we're aware of the issue, then we correct it and now we're good. Yeah, and another thing that really sold me for CRT lenses was when we first came in, Dr. Toe was telling us about how over time, the, these types of lenses end up maintaining the health of Isaac's eyeballs. Over time, your eyes end up getting elongated because those lenses are overcorrecting your eyes. So, which means like throughout time, your vision is technically getting worse, right? Normally, kind yeah, of? yeah. Normally, normally, if, if we hadn't done anything, and if Isaac were just continuing with normal glasses or contacts, his, his eyes would have kept growing. Yeah. And every time it's it grows, it actually gets less healthy. Yeah. yeah because the there's the there's the line. The, think of the the eye as a camera. And there's essentially it's almost like film on the inside. It's the retina, yeah. and that is the same size um, as your eye is growing. The problem is, is as your eye grows, that retina has to stretch. And so it doesn't like being stressed. All right, so we got to learn a lot from Dr. Toe about CRT lenses and myopia management. And if you guys are interested in checking out Dr. Toe, you can check out the website down in the description below, lumenoptometric.com. And if you're not local to LA, you can also check out his website. And then there's also references or resources there where you guys can find an eye doctor closest to you. So thank you so much, Dr. Toe, for having us. Appreciate the educational lesson. And we'll be coming back for Isaac's checkups. All right, now we're gonna go home and- Play some video games. <laughs> and play some video games. Spend some time outside. Yeah, right? Spend some time <laughs> outside, right? Eyes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rest, outside. rest those eyes. <laughs> we'll ride on my ripstick. Yeah, we'll ride on his ripstick. He tried teaching me the other day and it was a fail, but 
You can try teaching me again. Yeah. Maybe. Make it right to the mailbox. Yes. <laughs> yeah, away from video games, right? That's right, yeah, yeah. More time outside, less <laughs> time indoors, more on this rib stick thing sounds great. <laughs>